Hey guys, welcome back. I have a special guest today. Say hi, Cookie. Look. Say hi. Sorry if you can hear noise in the background. It is 4th of July and my dog has anxiety with all the noise. The thunder scares her, the rain scares her, so she's on my lap for the video, so I'm sorry if it's distracting, but she's going to be quiet. She's like shaking so bad right now. I feel horrible. Ain't that right, cook, cook? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we just came back in. We took the kids to see the fireworks, so I'm sure I'm looking a hot mess. I didn't reapply my lipstick because that's what real life is about. So today I'm actually going to do an unboxing haul, and as you can see, it's from BH Cosmetics. I did open it, um, but I, on the top is a packing slip. And then it looks like this. So it's got some like honeycomb. I don't know what this stuff is called. Oh my god, she is shaking so bad. Calm down, Cookie. So everything is wrapped in here. Um, the That's Heart palette came with a set of brushes in a brush roll, and it was something like $12.95 or. $4.95. I don't know. How much was it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the That Heart Steel. It's the that it's called the That Heart Steel. So it comes with the palette, 12 piece brush set, and the brush roll. Um, I also got the San Francisco I also got the San Francisco eyeshadow and blush palette, but I have given that to a friend of mine, Heidi, who you've seen her on my channel before. I also got the Flawless Brow Trio in Dark and the Pro Artist Brush Belt. Okay, I'm going to start with this um, BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. It's the Brow Defining Kit in the shade Dark. So it looks like it comes with three shadows. Um, it says, the Flawless Brow Trio Brow Defining Kit includes one colored brow wax for grooming and two brow powder shades. Okay. Oh, and a double-ended brush for sculpting the perfect arch. So this is the box. This is the palette. Looks like this. So inside it has a mirror, as you can see and there are the products. So it has two powders, a colored wax, and then the little brush. So I'm not too crazy about this brush. I thought maybe it would have like a spoolie on one end. That would be a little bit more efficient in my book, but whatever. I mean, I'll probably still get use out of this brush either way. Um, one of them is just like a flat shader brush and the other is an angled liner type brush so this here i'm sorry guys this one here this dark one on this end this is the wax so it looks like that it's just a black wax and then these are the two brow powder shades sorry i'm really trying not to blind you so I'm interested to see how these work. Um, honestly, I know a lot of people say that your brows frame your face, but I keep my brows really simple. I don't do anything dramatic with them. Um, and I don't always do my brows. Sometimes I will just use a, a light powder, not a light powder, but lightly apply some powder just to fill in the gaps and that's it. I don't really do any special defining to my brows on day to day. So the that, That's Heart palette comes packaged like this. It is covered in plastic. So I need to open this. If I can open this. It's not for you, Cookie. It's for Mommy. This is a limited edition palette, so it says, but I always see this um, featured on her channel. Um, if you don't know, That's Heart is a YouTuber. Um, she has a YouTube channel and I will link her channel in the description bar. Um, I really like her. She's down to earth and she's Filipino like me. So yeah, thumbs up if you like That's Heart. So here is the palette. It's 
very pretty. It has a heart shaped mirror as you can see. And it has two, four, six, eight shadows. And I'm guessing I'm guessing it's eight shadows, a blush, a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. So um, does this thing open up as well? No. Um they don't have colors listed, but they are very pretty. Are they all shimmer? No. Okay, out of the eight shadows, this black is the only matte color, which that's okay with me. I can work with that because you could actually use, well, the bronzer's got slight shimmer, but it's so, like, so, so fine that you probably won't be able to uh, really see it when you apply it. But what I was thinking with this black one here, um, you could also probably use this brown in the crease if you just wanted a matte brown shadow. But I think the colors are very pretty. I'm not going to swatch them in this video because that would take too long. Um, I will do a first impression review on this palette, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so next, this is the brush belt that I ordered. Um, I was going to order one off of Amazon because, for those of you don't, that don't know, I do freelance makeup and I also work for a magazine, so I needed a brush belt, but when I ordered the That's Heart palette, um, my plan wasn't to order all the extra stuff, but I mean, it's so affordable, how could I not? Um, I don't know if this is real leather. Um, it, if it's not, it, uh... I think this is probably pleather, but either way, it's got the flap here like this, and then the belt here, and as you can see, it says BH Cosmetics engraved in the plastic, um, and then it's got all these little pockets and, you know, whatnots to put all your brushes in. It's got bigger ones for face brushes. Um, you could probably put, you know, other little gadgets like eyelash curlers and lash glue and things like that in here. So, I'm pretty sure when you guys see me uh, applying makeup on a client or a model, uh, you will see this featured in that video. Uh, I, I really needed something hands-on to use because going back and forth to a table takes a lot of time when you're on a time schedule. Does that make sense? Did that even make sense? I'm tired. I'm sorry. Okay, the next thing I got is the brush roll that came with the That's Heart Steel. It does look like it's got some kind of crocodile print or something on here. Stop jumping. It's okay. My dog is so freaking paranoid right now. So this is kind of like a um, patent leather, imitation patent leather pouch and as you can see it's got the crocodile print on it. I don't know if you can see that if the light is kind of blinding that but it's got the magnetic closures like that the little snap closures and then you open up the brush roll and it looks like that and I believe it's 12 brushes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 yeah 12 brushes so it looks like this and I am about to open these brushes and show them to you individually. So that's everything that I got in this haul, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, it's just more packing stuff and a thank you card here. So I think that BH Cosmetics is very, very affordable. It's just like buying drugstore products if you ask me okay so the brushes don't say like what they are it just on the brush handle says BH cosmetics so I'm about to zoom in and show you guys the um, brush brushes no not brushes brushes individually okay okay so you can see here it says BH cosmetics and it's got a shiny wooden handle with a silver, I cannot talk, a silver ferrule, so silver ferrule, and to me this is got to be some, look how soft these brushes, 
brushes are. Look at that. They're just so fluffy. Oh man, I cannot wait to wash these and use them. I see a straggly hair right here. You guys see that? So anyway, this looks like a flat type of blush brush. Um, you could probably even use this as a powder brush. So that is the first brush from BH Second Cosmetics. brush. Um, this looks like a bronzing type brush. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. It's a little bit more domed. It's not as flat. Um, it is kind of squished because it's been in the packaging, but uh, these are synthetic brushes. So, But they look super, super soft, and I can't wait to use these. I'm excited. So yeah, they're all the same. Black wooden handle, silver ferrule, duo fiber synthetic brushes. So this would be a bronzer brush. The next brush we have, um, this to me, this looks like a flat, uh, I don't know, this may be a concealer brush. It's very, very dense. Um, looks like that. So it's very dense. It's not as fluffy. So I'm going to guess this would be a concealer brush, but brushes like this are very good for packing on color directly to your lower lid, lid space, um, especially if you are working with a shimmery eye color. Sorry, did you guys hear that? That was fireworks. I swear nobody's in my yard shooting guns. <laughs> so the next brush is a... Ah, cookie just scratched the crap out of me she's so chicken get out of there she's hiding in my shelf y'all so this is another shader brush it's another flat shader brush it's a lot smaller than the last one um, can y'all see that stuff flocking out of there it looks like powder but anyway it's a little shader brush flat shader brush and yeah okay so the next brush is a domed crease brush um, it is very soft. It's It's got a medium density to it. Um, it's not real fluffy, but it's not super packed. Cookie, what are you doing? Get out of there. So yeah, domed crease brush. The next brush that I have is a fan brush. And it looks like this. These are great for applying highlighter to your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, um, on your cupid's bow, and that sort of thing. So yeah, fan brush. All right, so the next brush that I have is like a flat liner brush. You can use this for eyeliner. Um, you can use this when you are applying uh, shadow to your lash line. Um, so yeah, this would be good for smudging out liner on your lash line and that sort of thing. Um, you could even use this for your eyebrows if you wanted to. So I don't like to just pick a job for a brush and leave it at that. I like to find multi uses for all of my brushes. Next up you have an angled liner brush. It is slightly angled. It doesn't have very much of an angle, but it is angled and it looks like that. Okay, I'm going to take a guess on this one. Um, it is tapered at the top. I don't know if you can see that. It is tapered. And I'm guessing you could probably use this for eyeshadow, maybe even um, on your lash line, like for eyeliner maybe. I don't know. Um, I'll have to play with this one and see. I don't really have any brushes that are this small. This is definitely for some serious definition. Next up is an eyeliner brush. And it looks like this. And it's just, well, these are stuck together, so I can't show you. Do you, do you see that? I definitely have to wash these brushes to soften that up. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. Next I have a spoolie. It looks like this. It looks bent, but it's not not supposed to be. Um, just a spoolie for your eyebrows. Um, you can even use this to separate your eyelashes if you want to. So yeah, spoolie. And last but not least, it comes with an eyebrow grooming comb slash brush. You can use this on your eyelashes as well if you wanted to. Um, this feels very cheaply made to be honest. I probably will not use this at all. So yeah, I, I don't 
tend to use these too often. I, I prefer a spoolie over this type of brush. So that was it for the brush roll. And I think these are very, very handy when you are traveling or something like that. Um, just because it has this flap that comes down so it will protect all the brush hairs from getting frayed or pulled out or anything like that. And I just think it's so cute, even though it's, you know, pleather or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. So, that was it for this haul. I know this video was very short, but I just wanted to share this with you guys so that I can get all this stuff cleaned and put away. And, God, fireworks are still going off, and it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Do you hear that? It's loud. But, anyway, I love fireworks, so they can pop them all night. I don't care. I don't complain. But, anyway, um... Stay tuned to see a review on the palette here, the That's Heart palette, which was the main thing that I wanted from BH Cosmetics. Uh, maybe I'll try to get It's Judy Time next. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the haul, and I'll see y'all next time. And please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up, okay? See you later, guys. Bye-bye.